Hey, what's going on, guys? Here, on Kill Twenty Three here, and today I am doing a glitch video, another one. This time it's on Minecraft, and it do it has something to do with the Electra. And yes, I am the Ender Dragon. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm no my normal skin with the Electra and the Dragon Head on, and I look like I'm the Ender Dragon <laughs> to me. Um, so I built my own little Freddy Fazbear's Pizza there. Not the act from the actual game but I'm gonna go over to the castle over there with all those beacons for no reason I just built this cuz I wanted to um, and I found a way to glitch through pistons with these things um, when you hit a this kind of block you can s see you stop running um, I can't slow down the video so you guys can't see it but I'll do it a few times I even do this off my airship mini game, which I will do a video on once I get my freaking PlayStation Plus working again, because it won't let me play multiplayer with online people. Oh, come on! Oh, I missed the glitch. Plus, I was just flying normally. I probably shouldn't be in creative for this, but I am because reasons. And I'm just gonna jump off the cliff thing. and go up just to make sure I can do this. This is only creative, I think. Um, oh, come on, I missed again. I'll just have to do it from my pizza sign. Sorry, you're gonna have to see the, me do this a couple of times, but there's no way I can do it. No better way I can do it. And all these holes are weird. I don't know why they're there. I don't remember, because I built this world on my PlayStation 3. Um, yeah, not bad. This world looks like it's in bad condition, but there's not there's gonna be a lot more than what there is now. There we go, there we go. There's the glitch. So you kinda fly into the piston and then you kinda have to try and find that gap and it flies you and it lands you as it would like um a normal Electra. Like it lands you like it does this. See, it le you scrape the ground for like a second and then get back up. I can probably just use my Electra to get over there, but that would be way slower, so I'm just going to fly. Um, and it's harder to land these dang things than it looks. I make it look hard. <laughs> for some people, they can do it first try. Um, I'll t I, 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 this will take some getting used to for me, but I'm going to try and do the glitch again. See, I can aim properly, but I can't. There we go. You got you get that short burst of speed there, and then you fly through the pistons. Um, yeah, I'm not, yeah, you might be wondering why these guns are there. No particular reason again. Um, just for looks and stuff. Um, no real reason. I'm probably going to make it into a mini game where it's like a castle right or something. Um, just gonna do the glitch one or two more times. Oh my god, lift off. See, I'm getting this short burst of speed. You fly through there and then walk through the gap. It's a really weird thing to do, but it works. It's one way, if you have this adventure map, you could literally make it into one of those with Electra. Like, you can kind of just glitch out the game and fly through. And I make it look easy, but it's hard. Like, I did that first, I did it first try, but I wasn't even intending to do that. I was just having fun with the Electra. Um, I just gotta aim myself up. See, you get that short burst of speed and then walk through. Um, yeah, um, there's a gravestone there, no real reason either. Um, so that's really all I wanted to show you guys. I believe I showed this world a long time ago, so I'm not going to show you guys anything that's really new other than this game here. It's called Airship vs. TNT. And I don't really have a name for it. But basically, it's just 
the ground people versus the airship people. The ground people are trying to get rid of the airship and cause massive damage to its hull, where the airship people are trying to destroy the ground TNT cannons. That's why they're both in line um, before they can destroy the airship and bring it down. That's basically the aim of the game, to just, for the ground people, the uh, ground ground players, I should call them, to destroy the hole as much as they can. I'll just show you once. And I'll show you how powerful the TNT cannon. Um, this is the model that I used on the castle. I'll quick you, quickly show you what this one does. So I load it up. Uses five pieces of TNT here in the water and since it all packs up it creates a massive explosion look at the TNT and it just goes flying now it doesn't gain much height so that's why the airship is so low but it flies far hundreds of blocks so I'll show you that Boom! it lands on that platform and does a massive hole in the ship apparently <laughs> I was not expecting that much of a hole <laughs> in this airship. And basically it takes out the TNT cannons too, but not very much. Because stone is barely able to be damaged. I should have... But it's TNT resistant. Just in case there is no water. For some reason. I don't know why there wouldn't be water. But... Um, I'm just gonna fix this up quickly. That's really all I wanted to show you, but... Yeah. Not much else to show you. I guess. But I was not expecting that much damage from this airship. That would be an instant win. That's how powerful these TNT cannons are. Whoops. I'm just saying... If you want to do that, maybe people have discovered this, but I personally discovered this a long time ago. Um, yeah, this is nuts how much damage this caused. And that's one piece of TNT, by the way. It exploded half the airship. Well, not half of it, but a lot of the airship. It even destroyed the ground. And it was all the way up here. Like. Has that ever happened to you? Probably not. No. Um, I was just testing out the TN. Um, if you want to make this game yourself, you need, these ones can only have one piece in them. To make it so it actually hits the TNT cannon. I'll show you with this one. Here, see? This one's loaded how it should be. It sets that off, and it makes it so it just goes there. But it's a long fuse, and it does the job. Quite well, actually. It does it perfectly. And these are how I showed you. These have five repeaters, um, and they're made out of stone with a stone button. No reason, real reason why that. Just reasons. Um, this was just made because I wanted to have a bit of fun, and these have, have to have, each cannon has two ticks on it, I believe. The ones up here are set to have four ticks, because they travel very slowly, because it's not that big of an explosion, and back here, the cannons were originally all the way back here, and they had to shoot over with there but then even with four pieces they fly like literally they go probably about to here and explode so if you're making an airship map use these five and four block TNT cannons they are super useful in those kinds of battles Show you how to make one quickly. No. I'll save that for another video. But this is basically part of a 
this is the launching part of the cannon like where the water is here 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 and here so in there where the water is here 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 and here and here that's where it is and in here is dirt i think Yes, you can make the bottom any material you want, because it's water. TNT doesn't explode in water. But make sure, it if you're making this game, it can't be very far. But the TN, the reason why it's set to um, four, three ticks, um, on a repeater there's no such thing. So this is one tick, two tick, three ticks three ticks. You have to have it at three ticks or else the TNT just goes too high and overshoots the ship apparently. Which I think is kind of stupid. But yeah, that's basically all. Um, yeah. That's all I wanted to do for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe see more content and glitches like this <laughs> glitch <laughs> that was my messed up oh my god i messed up that outro so bad um and i will see you guys in the next video yeah bye